Good morning, friends. Happy Monday. Um, I hope you all had a great weekend and a great Friday. I got some videos and pictures of students who went to the beach or got out and explored their background. So I'm so happy you had a chance to do that with your family. This morning, I have another spring book. Um, and this book has a writing activity and a math activity that goes with it. So stay tuned for those activities. First, we'll read the book. The Happy Bee by Ian Becks. Before I read this book, predict, what do you think makes a bee happy? Hmm, what do you think makes a bee Oops. happy? Every morning, the little bee flew from flower to flower. Do you have a prediction now? What do you think bees make bees happy? Hello, Daisy. Goodbye, Daisy. Hello, Rose. Goodbye, Rose. Hello, Poppy. Goodbye, Poppy. Hello, Lily. Goodbye, Lily. Sometimes the wind blew. Uh oh. Sometimes the sun shone. Sometimes it rained. Sometimes the sun shone and sometimes it rained all at the same time. Hello, rainbow. And that made the little bee very happy. Buzz. The end. So it was a very short book. But today, your writing activity is I want you to write and draw about one thing that makes you very happy, just like the bee. So the bee likes the flowers, but in the end, we find out that the bee really likes the rainbow and that's what makes him happy. So I want you to write and draw about what makes you very happy. And make sure you tell me why it makes you very happy. So we gotta use our magic word, because, which is a long word. You can sound it out or have a parent spell it for you, but I want you to use the word because to tell me why that makes you happy. The other activity is a math one, and I have this little whiteboard. Um, I don't have a printer at my house, so I am going to draw my number bond, which you certainly can if you run out of um, papers or if you don't have a printer at your house. Um, so I am gonna draw one real quick. Remember, it can go any way you want, as long as there's a hole. That's our hole with two lines going out to the parts. So we go part, part, whole. The two parts come together to make the whole, okay? So for this, I have a little number story. And what I want you to do is I want you to make a picture that goes with my number story. I want you to fill in the number bond to go with my story. And I also want you to try to write a number sentence. So I'm gonna read my story right now, and then I want you to pause my video, do all three, picture, number bond, and number sentence, then press play again, and I will show you the answers on my board. Okay, you ready? So my number story is, there was a honeybee who was going from flower to flower collecting pollen one spring morning. She went to five lilies, and 
three daisies. How many flowers did she visit all together? So she went to five lilies and three daisies. I'm gonna fill mine in, press pause if you need a minute. All right, if you need another minute, you can press pause, but I am ready and I'm gonna show you what I came up with. All right, so I just did a little quick math drawing up here and then I filled in my number bond. So she went to five, what did I say, lilies, and then three daisies. So she visited five, then she visited three, all together she visited eight. So no matter how your number bond is arranged, eight should be in your hole that leads out to five and three, okay? I wrote a bunch of different, oops. I wrote a bunch of different number sentences. So I wrote um, five and three makes eight, three and five makes eight, eight is five and three, eight is three and five. All right, so I want you to do that um, for my number sentence. And then as a little bonus, you can make up your own number sentence and then solve it yourself. So make a number bond for your own number sentence, a number sentence, and a picture. Or if you have a brother or sister at home, they could make you a number um, story and you could write all the parts of the number story in your number bond, your number sentence, and your picture. All right, friends, I hope you have a great morning. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye.